Hi guys, Charlie Matthews here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can set up properly a full size snooker table. Now, snooker is a sport that some may say is quite boring, but then again some may say is quite exhilarating and fantastic to watch. Me, myself, I love playing snooker, I'm here practicing at a club which I usually go to, it's my local club, uh, and I come to here, well, uh, once at least a week, so uh, I really, really love snooker, I think it's a fantastic game, and I think that everybody should really give it a go, rather than pool. I'm not really a fan of pool, it's a bit easier, but I like to challenge myself with sports like these, so I go with snooker. Snooker is very, very easy to set up, and I'm going to show you how you can set it up. Now, in the top here, we have something that's called the D, okay? It spans from there, there, and around, so it looks like a D. On the right-hand side of the D, you have one ball, and that is the yellow ball. The yellow ball goes on the spot here. I'll, I'll show you what it looks like fully after I've just done this here. Then in the middle of the D, we have the brown ball, okay? Brown ball's here. So we're going to put the brown ball on the middle bit. And then finally, on this side of the D, on the left-hand side, we have the green ball. And the green ball goes at that side. Okay, so it, so it goes, this is, well, these are the colors that people get mixed up most. It goes yellow, brown, green. Okay, some people say, uh, God bless you, okay? So, God bless you. Green, brown, yellow, okay? Now, we have here, in the middle of the table, the very middle, we have another spot. Again, I will show you it after. We have a spot in the middle, and that is where our blue ball is going to go. Now, if, if we move further down the table, we have space for two more balls, mainly two more balls. We have one that's just further down from the blue, and that's where the pink ball goes. And then we have one for the black, and that is where the black ball goes at the very end. Just for scoring, by the way, the yellow ball is worth two points, a red ball is worth one point, a green ball is worth three points, a brown ball is worth four points, a blue ball is worth uh, five points, the pink ball is worth six points, and the black ball is worth seven points. So for example, if I potted a red, which is one, and I potted the blue, which is five, I would get six points altogether, and the blue respots, but I will talk about that in another video. Now, I have all of these reds. There should be 15 reds altogether, and with your snooker table, you will normally find something like this. That is a triangle, and those, all of those 15 red balls all fit inside this triangle. So if you just pop them in, it will fit the whole of the triangle. Okay, so it's fit the whole of the triangle uh, like this. Okay, so all the red balls are inside there, and that goes in between the pink and the black. But it should line up with the rest of the other ones. That lines up pretty much. And you can take off the reds, or off the triangle, sorry, and it should look like that. So it should go pink, red, black. This is what it looks like on the table once it has all been fully set up. Okay, so you've got the cue ball at the back of the table. So the snooker player can put that anywhere in the D to start with. So he could break off there or break off there or even break off back here if he really wanted. Okay, so that's where the cue ball goes. Again, this is the D, so it goes uh, on the back there and then around. So there you can see it's like the letter D. And in that D we have on the right hand side we have the yellow, middle brown, left green. In the middle of the table we have the blue, which is just there. Uh, we then have the pink, we then have the reds, which should be actually just enough uh, that it should just be nearly touching the pink, it cannot touch the pink. And also at the very end we have the black there. So this is what it should look like once it has been fully set up. Now there's just one thing left to do, and that is to break off.
Thank you for watching this video, guys. If you did find it helpful in any way, then please leave a like on the video. Or if you enjoyed it in any way, then please leave a like on the video. And subscribe to the channel for more content. And if you have any questions on how to set up a snooker table or anything else to do with snooker, then please leave it in the comments section below. Thank you for watching this video, guys, and I will see you in the next one. See you later.